Hi, this is a demonstration of Android Grocery Shop project. So this is an innovative system that uh, allows user to shop for groceries online. Uh, user can also check various categories of grocery that includes uh, fruits and vegetables and also some other you know daily usage items required for domestic purposes. So here we use uh, a server and an Android application running as a client. So the Android application constantly interacts with the server to get data and that's how the system works efficiently. It uh, works over the internet. So the Android app is running in the client Android system and the server runs uh, on a web server. So let's see how the system works in real time. So this is the Android part here, as you can see on the screen. This is the Android uh, phone screen and that's the app icon there. Let's click it. So now you can see the menu here. These are various items. So we can click on anyone to go inside. Let's click on FAQ, it shows FAQ section. Similarly. Let's click on register. This is the registration part. So any user who doesn't have a login ID password can register here. By entering his details. Uh, this is the login section. Let's log into the system now. I already have a user ID and password, so I'll just log in into the system. So after login user can see various items in the store and here you can select category to sort search. These are various items here with uh, the name and cost. The cost is currently in rupees. This can be altered for you know any currency or any country as desired. So let's uh, select a particular category. Let's select vegetables and click search. So now you can see various vegetables here with uh, you know, images, details and cost. Let's select fruits now. So it shows various fruits now. Let's uh, you know click on a fruit. So after clicking it shows uh, details overview cost details etc we need to enter quantity and we can order online so once ordered it shows product successfully added and you know the product can be seen in our shopping cart the user can similarly go back and add multiple products in the shopping cart so now let's check out the cart So it shows items already in cart. So we can now select the payment option. So you know when we click on checkout, we can just select uh, payment option, cash and delivery or credit card. So cash and delivery is easy, nothing. It just says. No. Now this is the credit card one. We need to enter our details here, card details. Whatever the name is and the CVV number along with it. The name, card number and CVV number need to be added into the system. So after a successful payment, it says that the order has been placed. So this is a dummy credit card payment for demonstration purpose. So now let's check uh, the admin part of the system. This is the admin login. This can be accessed through a PC, a normal computer through the browser. So this is operated by the admin. Admin can add new products into the system here. You can choose images and description quantity and cost everything so let's enter an item here 
you can choose the image and uh, update it so our image gets loaded there so similarly we can add description short description full description and now the category and now the entry has been made into the system so you can also view various orders placed by users this is how you can view the orders and then you know attend those orders supply them as is there and this is the edit products page it you the admin can edit details of products as desired he just needs to enter the product id here and click search so now the product uh, is available here he can edit the details from here and the details get edited appropriately and this is delete products similar one you can delete various products from the system so this is the entire admin part which uh, operates from the pc so admin can edit the entire system as desired so this is how the grocery shop project works thank you